Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my top blushes for spring and summer, more so summer just because spring is like we're really into spring. So um, these are mainly powder blushes. I made sure that they were all easily accessible and not limited edition because I do have limited edition blushes that I love, but I want you guys to, you know, be able to go out and get these if you like one of the ones that I talk about. So I narrowed it down to five, so just so I didn't have like 25 blushes because I am a blush freak. They're, it's my favorite type of makeup to wear. I don't know why, I just absolutely love blush. So I narrowed it down to my top five, and they're mostly warmer colors that will complement not necessarily darker skin tones, but just if you have a little bit of a tan in color, and just colors that are appropriate for warm weather in general. So to get started, I'm going to talk about these. These are my favorite types of blushes, and these are the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes. These are amazing, amazing for summer. They're amazing all year round, but definitely in the summertime because they are long wearing. They're 12 hour long wear blushes, so that's great for the summer if you are sweating or if you're gonna be, I don't know, if you wear blush to the beach. So these are my favorite blushes in general just because they are so long wearing and the color doesn't fade or change throughout the day. These do not do that and the color that you see on the outside is pretty much the color that you, you will see on the inside and my first I'm going to talk about, this is my newest addition to my Amazonian Clay collection and this is in the color Tipsy. And it is a really bright coral peach orange color, if that makes any sense. Um, it's just so pretty. It's It doesn't look this bright when you put it on your face. Just like most blushes, they don't look as bright as they do in the pan, but I absolutely love this. This would look so pretty with a tan. So that's that color right there. And I just, oh, I just love this color. It is so pretty and it is a matte. So if you don't like shimmer, which I prefer matte blushes. So I really like that about this. The next one is Exposed, and this I think is flattering on any skin tone. It looks really bland in the pan, I'm just going to say. It looks like, okay, why would you put brown on your face? But it's not brown. It actually turns into like a pinky brown, but with more pink in it when you put it on your face. It's so pretty. So that is Tipsy, and I think that this would be really good just to warm up your face if you have fair skin like me. I think that this is a great summer color just because it warms up your complexion and kind of makes you appear like you have been out in the sun a little bit, even if you really haven't. So I love this one. The next two I'm going to talk about are from NARS, and this is in the color Deep Throat. I mean... I'm sure you guys all know how to spell that. This again is on the warmer side. It's a really pretty corally color and it's got shimmer in it. So if you like shimmer, then I definitely would recommend this. But this one I find is more wearable on lighter skin tones. So although I think that this would be a great color on light or dark skin, this is just a really subtle, natural looking peach color. So that's Deep Throat. And it's a little bit more on the pink side than say Tipsy. If you compare the two, that's a little bit more orange, that's a little bit more pink, and I just really love this color. And the shimmer is really fine, it's not, I mean, it is a little bit glittery, but it's not obnoxious, so I love this one. Then the next one, this is the only one I'm not sure if it is in their permanent collection, because it came out with their spring collection, and I don't know if, I think it was limited edition, but I've, I've still seen it around, so I'm sure you could still find this blush. And this is in the color Gaiety, Gaiety or Gaiety, something like that. That's how you spell that. Is it focused? I think so. Okay, and this, oh my gosh, this is like my new obsession. Well, it's actually not a new obsession. I've been obsessed with it for a couple months now. But it is a really bright baby pink, and it's kind of intimidating. I didn't think that a color like this would work on me. But once I tried it, it looks so pretty. And this is also a matte, so if you like that, then I would definitely recommend checking this out for sure. And this is on the cooler side. So this is really the only cool toned blush that I'm including in this video. So that is Giddy, and it is a blue-based pink, and it's really light, but it's bright at the same time. So it's it's bright, but it's wearably bright, if that makes any sense. And it's so gorgeous on the skin. I think this would look good with a tan. I think this would look good if you don't have a tan. I just think this is a really great universal blush. 
The last one I'm including is a cream blush and it's a newer purchase for me but I love this and I think it's a perfect color for this time of the year and it is in the color something special. And I love cream blushes for the summer too just because a lot of times I just like wearing powder and then just putting on cream blush and that's like all I will wear in the summer and I love doing that just because it's simple and cream blushes are really easy to use. They're great for on the go too because if any of you are going on vacation anywhere this summer, then I would definitely recommend getting a cream blush just because you don't have to you don't have to mess around with all these brushes and it's just really easy. So yeah, this is what this one looks like. I don't even think I showed it in the pan. In the pan, this doesn't really look like anything special, but when you put it on, it's a gorgeous color. I have so many swatches on my hands. This is a great color to wear underneath, a color like tipsy. This is something special and it is a peach it's like a peachy pink color more so on the peach side and I love this color and I I think that this would look great underneath tipsy I actually know it would look great because I've actually worn the two together and it looks really great so that is all I have to talk about for this video I tried to keep it a little short just so I didn't have a ton of blushes to talk about and I will list all the blushes I talked about down below and if you have any questions about any of the colors I talked about or requests for videos or anything like that, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment or message or tweet me. I'll be quicker with Twitter. So yeah, that's it for this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.